his name and I can uh, Firefighter Cody Thomas uh, with East River Fire Department. How long have you been a volunteer firefighter? I've been a volunteer firefighter for almost five years. Who got, who got you into being a firefighter? Uh, what got me into being a firefighter was it was kind of a family tradition type thing on my dad's side. Uh, and it just runs in the family. And it's something I've always wanted to do. How long have you been with East River? I've been with East River for about a year now. And I've learned a lot since then, since I've been here. What do you love most about being a volunteer firefighter? What I love most about being a volunteer firefighter is getting the chance to help people at a time when it may be the worst time in their life. Uh, it, not every day on other jobs out there in the in the workforce do you get to make a difference like that. What do you dislike most about being a volunteer firefighter? What I dislike most about being a volunteer firefighter is the time it's taken away from your family. Uh, sometimes they don't really understand exactly why you have to stay away so much uh, with training and running calls and you know, forming that bond with your brothers. Uh, that would be the thing about firefighting that I would warn people about they thought about getting in the field is the time taken away from the family. But it's worth it in the end. In your opinion, what does it take to be a volunteer firefighter? Um, in my opinion, what it takes to be a volunteer firefighter is a lot of courage, um, bravery, and commitment to learn. Um, it takes a lot of passion and willingness to train, and ultimately, that's what it takes. Well, it varies from state to state what kind of training you have to have, but uh, in the state of West Virginia, basically you have to complete all your fire one and two classes, uh, hazardous materials, uh, CPR, stuff like that. Like in military training, it's all done all the time. How about the Well, in reality, we train once a week up here. Uh, but that's just on your meeting nights. Um, when you get into the fire service, you're constantly watching videos on your own. You're learning things, you're reading books. Uh, you're seeking advice from other fire officials. And in the end, that helps you learn uh, as you go. Why is training so important? Training is important because when you get out there in the field, you have to know what to do. Because your fellow firefighter is trusting that you have his life and that he's got yours. And uh, in the heat of the moment, when your adrenaline's pumping, you have to know what to do in that instant.